Bitchy, 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 bitchy. Hey John, can you um can you toss in that we're streaming on OOC? I know I did it already, but bitchy. I I I will I'll, I'll come up by and be that guy. Look, John, you're on the stream. Oh you're lord, <laughs> the only one on the stream. Oh, you're talking now. <laughs> but it just shows Dipper with the two planks. So. <laughs> exactly. Dipper is talking. <laughs> I just watched that episode, actually, <laughs> while I was shaving my head. <laughs> while you were shaving your head, nice. Is it nice and shiny? It is silky smooth. <laughs> it's silky smooth. I just That's want to so make creepy. a silky no. smooth. It's so smooth. I told him he's not allowed to shave his head. Nope. And he's not allowed to shave his facial hair either. Okay. Because then he'll uh, look like a freaking teenager. <laughs> see, I can't, now that I'm shaving my head, I can't shave my facial hair. It's I can't do that. Yeah, it's no, it's no cancer patient, helmet. please. <laughs> oh, I had somebody I, like when I first did it, like at work, asked, like a customer asked, are, are, "Do you have cancer?" I have <laughs> facial hair. <laughs> wow, that's just that's <sighs> intense, right there. Like that's like camping. It's fucking intense. Yep, the posting <laughs> is just sort of ticking on by. People aren't paying a whole lot of attention. It was like it was surreal. I mean, yes, I had a wire going out of my neck, but that that's a different story. <laughs> oh my god. Josh. No, that was when I had my external pacer t still. So Oh right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright. Well, well gentlemen, you... lady. <laughs> it is time. Other lady. <laughs> I'll let you figure out who that one is. Um and it's the one with the longest hair. Cave cave. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> All right. Well, so, if you're flicking me off, I can't see it. Just so you know. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just sitting here being me. All right. So, are you guys excited to finally be playing our first godlike session in this campaign? Indeed. God, God yes. I'm right. looking forward to rolling new characters. <laughs> <laughs> So, as you guys can very obviously tell from our splash screen here, this is this one's going to be taking place in Tobruk. Uh, this is a basically a town in uh, northern Africa. It's a, it's clo it's a port city. Um, it's actually closer to um, the Gibraltar Strait than it is toward England or France. Okay, actually, I have a neat little thing I can do here that will show you exactly where it is. Boop boop. Ooh, technology. Yeah, right? Hold on. I can see it, but you can't. Hold on a second. Boom, players. Oh. So, right? So, this is Libya. Modern-day Libya. This is Egypt. Hopefully, everybody knows by this point that Egypt, again, is closer to the right-hand side of Africa um, from where we I are in the U.S. I game. I get a geography lesson. I'm just saying, just in case, you know, some people don't know. <laughs> but as you can see, Tobruk is right here. Um... So this is kind of a first offensive map of where Rommel really started pushing. Um, Tobruk was a very well-held city. Yeah, um, that eventually surrendered. Yes. So um, way to ruin it. It's yeah, right? it's seventy years ago. Spoiler alert! Jesus. Seventy years. <laughs> For those of you who haven't caught up, we already know the ending. So. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yes. All right, so um, if you guys want to, you're more than welcome, actually. Highly encouraged, a.k.a. mandatory, to kind of go around the table real quick and introduce yourselves and your characters. Um, you can go into as much about yourself and your characters as you like. Um, I would encourage, since this is kind of going to be the start point and the basis for the campaign, to try and give a little bit of life and flavor to your to your shit. I mean characters. <laughs> Cuff. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so um so just so everybody knows the way i normally do things and why i set up these splash screens is because it actually helps me keep track of initiative outside of combat because combat everybody has rules for combat what they don't have rules for is hey who gets to fucking talk first and in a scenario like this where we're actually streaming and trying not to talk over each other, it makes a lot of sense to kind of go in some sort of order. So as long as they're set up like this, John's going to go first, followed by Josh, then Bev, then Bob. Speaking of which, Bev, what's your character's last name? Well, I got it. Uh, fuck if I know. Hold on. Fuck if wait, I know. Wait, okay. Wait, on my screen, I'm like second to last. 
No, no, he, he's referring to um, in the starring in the bottom right corner. Oh, oh, oh okay, 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 never mind. Yeah. Oh my God, he sets up an order and makes it all fancy because he understands Roll20 and all that can be kind of, well, I, I gotta watch my language, I guess. Or, <laughs> I didn't even finish filling this out. I didn't even get yeah, this Yeah, we're, let's, we're let's not badmouth the hand that's feeding us right now. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. See, you guys are learning already. <laughs> First person to order me a pizza gets a couple experience points tossed their way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I ordered my I own ordered pizza. You. Well, you get a couple extra stuff. points. <laughs> What's up, John? I ordered my own pizza. You can starve. There you go. What's your address again? <laughs> Um, just come up with one, sweetheart. You're, you're Scottish, right? Yeah. Shockley. <laughs> um, I was going to say Shaggins, but that's not a good name. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's where we're off to, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Kavanaugh? Sure. Hey, you got to unmute yourself, baby. Whatever Josh said, that'll be my last name. Kavanaugh. Like Kavanaugh. Yeah. yeah. It's a Scottish name. Like that? Uh, That's it's fucking close not, enough if it's not. It, it's not updating, so I can't really so, say. We have, we have oh, a... no, 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 no. C-A-V-A... Hang on, hang on. N-A-G-H. Yeah, that. N-A-G-H. Yes. C-A-V-A-N-U-G... N-A-U-G-H. Yeah, dang it. There we go. Nice thing. <laughs> yes. We're aiming it. to offend all cultures and creeds in this session. All right. So, um, like I said, we'll start. It'll go John, Josh, Bev, then Bob in most out of character, or not out of character, um, out of combat situations. And then when we actually roll, it'll go from there. Sound good? Okay. okay. All right. So, whenever I say right. it's your turn, we'll go in that order. So, it's your turn to introduce yourselves. Alrighty then. Hello all, my name is John. So you may know me as the Great Red Grave, LC, or whatever, over on the Shadow Net. Uh, around here, <laughs> around here, I'm just a simple Frenchman who has a really handy ability to not get shot like everybody else, and somehow still pull off the mission that everyone else screwed up at, but, you know, don't listen to them. I thought you were listen. Dutch. <laughs> the Englishman. The Englishman right there, folks. <laughs> Speaking of Josh, oh, I'm sorry, talker. I was waiting for him to finish. Um, okay, <laughs> hello, my name is Josh, also known as Sidewarf. Um, I like long walks on the beach, books to read, and I've never felt the touch of a woman. My character—that's <laughs> true, actually. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I not touching it. <laughs> nope. Yes, I know he. I know the. <laughs> We're not actually going to get to play. At this no, point. okay, okay. My <laughs> not at this rate. Is, my character is Samuel Pendington the Third, heir to the Pendington fortune. He is that guy. And when I have a webcam, you'll actually be able to see me do that. It's something along that line, just so you know. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. So his character is essentially he makes people trust him, as it is. So yes. And he's suave, debonair, and de facto leader of this group. Okay. That would be because you. nobody else wanted to be. <laughs> um, I'm Bev. Um, I play Marlena, but I just call her Marley because I I screw up all the spellings of my characters because I can. <laughs> um, she is the resident sniper who is stupidly good at her job and she has a giant invisible puppy that no one else can see but her <laughs> and likes to eat people yeah likes to bark at people and likes to do his own thing you know might have an imaginary dog pee on you I am not sorry and she also saves our collective asses because she's the only combat oriented person in the world yep. that's the only reason I mean... they deal with the puppy <laughs> <laughs> You're a runt, you're a runt, but you fucking saved my ass more than once. All right, and that would be on to Bob. 
Yep, uh, I'm Bob. I apparently have a reputation on the net as uh, Jonestown. I don't know where that come from, but... Uh, <laughs> you liar. You liar. <laughs> you lie because uh, I know. Cran, <laughs> sorry, myself, and there was someone else. Sorry, help me out here. Who is uh, Cran. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. That's Cran, Sarge, myself, and someone else knew about uh, uh, Celtic. Celtic knew about Jonestown that's Bob. That's right. That's yep. right. And the jokes made it made the way around for a little while. That's true. Yes, yes that 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 is I. <laughs> um, unlike Jonestown, uh, Nathan Ackerman was actually horrified at the death of uh, civilians, um, notably <laughs> uh, in the uh, evacuation of Dunkirk. Um, Mike. <laughs> Uh, horrified by it, um, and is uh, constantly reminded of it, uh, being trapped in another port city is no doubt going to weigh heavily on him, uh, and has uh, developed the ability to uh, uh, control bullets to a certain degree and uh, being able to control their detonation and sensing them. And it will uh, prove interesting to see if he can actually save anyone with it. All right, and... On that, my name's Sarge, if nobody has seen me before, which is fairly strange considering I don't get many new viewers, but if you haven't, uh, I am a avid storyteller, I love role-playing, I love DMing, and this kind of shit is what I actually probably enjoy most out of life at this moment, besides hanging with my, my dear lovely woman on the bed currently. Um, Thank you, Tony. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he meant you, Josh. What oh, he will. I'm here. As Run, a Tony! <laughs> Run! <laughs> I have to stream and let these people work out their domestic issues in peace. So, um, love triangle. So I, I've I've sat you guys down with this before. Um, it's not a triangle, honey. I think I think it's a. Uh... <laughs> Damn it, Josh. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so we've gone over this before, but I'll go over it again for all the viewers. Um, like I said, I'm a very fair and negotiable GM. Um, I like to think that I reward stupidity just as well as I reward actual um, honor and value tree uh, while you're in combat. Um, but as well as I like, I like thinking outside the box. I like it when you guys stretch the limitations of what your powers can do, what your characters can do, and really try and reach for it. And honestly, I mean, everybody that's run with me so far will tell you that I will be the GM to help you out as much as possible to get to that. Um, that being said, if you are a stupid fuck and you step in a land, if you step into a minefield for no apparent reason, I will probably make you roll a new character and make you die in a very unfashionable way, most likely with bits of body raining all over. Um, so this session that we have agreed to start playing is is oriented more toward the intrigue side of role playing. Um, normally, I'm a pretty hands-on GM when it comes to um, guiding the story and developing plots um, and making sure that everybody gets where they need to go. And in this particular case, I will be helping with the character development aspect of it and forcing you guys into situations where you'll have to make hard decisions in order to survive. However, that being said, I'm also going to be taking a major step back with how I roleplay here. So this is an experiment for me as well. I'm going to be relying on you guys to do a majority of the work. Um, you'll be deciding where to go, what to do, how to do it. Uh, not so much in the form of a sandbox, because I'm not just letting you run over a World War II battlefield with no apparent point or function. Um, <laughs> you will have objectives and how to get there. I will do my best to stat you out with good NPCs to help you on your way. Um, I'll also do my best to give you as much information as I can if you earn it. Um, that's going to be another big portion of this that is kind of related to Shadowrun is that you guys will have to do some type of intelligence gathering yourself. Um, whether it just be going up to the commander and asking for it or actually going into the field and figure out where the Germans are for yourself and anything and everything in between. Um, I won't leave you hanging, but I will give you basically if you were to do the barest minimum and just get the job done, then that's about the amount of information that I will give you. The rest of it will have to be earned. Okay? Everybody kind of yep. cool with that? Mm-hmm. Bev? Sure. Okay. Um, just a quick ask. Can anybody else see Tony's webcam? No, because I don't have it in Skype. Oh, oh, oh. That's yeah, funny. if if, um, if OBS is using it, then I can't use it in Skype for some odd reason to myself. But, huh. Here's the infinite spinny circle. Yeah. Yeah. So, of doom. Unfortunately. 
Um, but yeah, so any questions for me as far as before we start getting into, into character and into the game? Can you order me a pizza? <laughs> We just ate, sweetheart. <laughs> that was that was a good joke, honey. I mean, I got a pizza coming. Yeah, fuck are you. I, I had pizza. pizza bites, just pizza bites. not ten minutes ago. <laughs> ah, so the so I'm, uh, I'm going to take that as a resounding no of no serious <laughs> questions before we start. Okay. Can I have a minigun? <laughs> no, you may not. Actually, maybe at some point, but it's going to take a little bit to get it. Is that okay? Uh, um, just so, also as a as a note, we are going, um, we are starting fairly historically accurate. Um, we will be dealing with some more behind the scenes stuff with World War II, so we might start getting more diesel punk at some point. Um, but we're not going to be getting like large land ships in the sky type shit yet. Um, but we will be dealing with probably the more bizarre and the more hidden aspects of the the war. Is that okay with everybody? Nazi zombies. Yeah. Um, I will also be. I will also put this up now. Um, there may be points in time where I will purposefully make you guys a little uncomfortable. Uh, we will probably deal with some of the more macabre aspects, um, but I will never outright go for a. I, I guess I will say I will never dismember a body in front of you and describe it in detail. Um, I know that the, the theater of the mind is very powerful, and I know some of us are very sensitive to that kind of thing. So uh, when we do deal with harsher stuff or more heavy subjects, I will do my best as a GM to deal with it with a light hand. Okay? Okay. All right. The only thing I ask from you guys, and this is going to be like our, our GM player contract here, is that you guys do your best to make, maybe not stay in character all the time, because I know that is hard for some people. What I do want is to do your best to make decisions in character, to, to, to actually decide what your character would or would not do based off the situation, less so what you would do to get the best mechanical benefit. Um, if you guys are undercover from two machine gun nests, most likely you're going to stay your ass there. <laughs> or you're gonna try to smoke them out, you know. Anybody that says, "Well, I got like I can, you know, outrun their their dice pool." Anybody that says that, you're gonna start getting on my bad side. Um, but I, like I said, I want you guys to kind of forget the mechanic ex exist and and keep in your character. Um, do what you can to move the story forward uh, without trying to slow it down as much, because I know a lot of you are cognizant of that type of thing. Um, and while jokes are okay, let's try not to get too off. <gasps> excuse me, too off track with what we're doing. Can you guys agree to that for me? Sure. Yes, yes. sir. Awesome. The minigun yeah, jokes stop now. You good? All right. I got the thumbs up. So. All right. <laughs> so we start off in the middle of the Mediterranean Ocean, 